Hello you little minx you. How are you today? Mm, how are you today? Enjoying your sofa? We're about to get out of the door because Paul needs to go to a hospital as I mentioned yesterday. Um, they're going to try and do something to his back. Uh, numb some nerves or something like that. Not really, I don't really know too much about it but I, I hope it works definitely. That would be very nice. And uh, some awesome news that Alan just got a whole new load of Posca pens which is cool. And I have a package here, I'm not going to show the address, from Italy, and that comes from Queen Dex, um, and Carolina, or Carolina, uh, which is so nice of her. But I'm just about to start the upload from the vlog yesterday, so I can upload while we're going out. But we are borrowing my mom and dad's car to go in there, because ours, you know, the sound and the bearing, we don't really trust it to go that far until we get that fixed. Um, so we're borrowing my mom and dad's car, which is much newer and also much nicer and quicker. It's a 2.0 uh, diesel turbo injection. And we're still a bilingo. <laughs> All right, um, so I better get, uh, get ready to go and uh, I'll catch you guys on the road. We're at the hospital now, guys. I can show you a little bit from... What's this? Oh, some Viking stuff. There's an exhibition out here. Yeah, we're trying to find the area where Paul has to go in. Ah, all right. All right, so at the hospital now, Paul's getting a bit worried because he found out he actually have to go into surgery. So, he's back from the procedure. So, how do you feel? <laughs> so yeah, what he had done was had a needle in his back, um, actually three needles, two was anesthetic, uh, and then had a needle into the spine to numb some nerves, which goes down his back and his leg, and in about two or three days you start to feel a little change, um, and hopefully it'll take a lot away uh, of the pain, but uh, there's no guarantee. So you're looking fancy in those lovely socks. Oh, they're very fetching, aren't they? Yes. Go home, Gucci. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the nurse to come over and uh, take some tests and stuff. And uh, then we can go home. And then I need to pop you home. And I need to go to the skate park later on. It's a bit sad that it's first the same day. I would have liked to stay home the first evening just to make sure that you're okay. But uh, we'll see. Crabby weather by the hospital in Korea, but nicely down here. I'm on my way up to the skate park now. I'm lying behind that car right in front of me, which is so slow. I don't know why they're driving so slow. Um, but anyways, uh, look at the beautiful, nice rusp feel. Rusp feels. What do you call these? The yellow ones. They're beautiful. I love the colour. So nice and yellow. Really bright. They have a very, very distinct smell to them. But yeah, going up to the skate park now. I'm, I'm a little bit early. It's like 10 past 5 now, and I'm going to be up there like 5-10 minutes. Um, I just want to go up there and make sure I can um, put uh, some kendamas up on the wall and such for sale and just prepare the place to wipe the tables down a little bit. Nobody else seems to do that very often, so I do it. I like to keep clean where I am. Yeah! Skate park is now closed, and uh, yeah, I'm just going around to check if everything is all right. And I uh, might have a little ride because I don't get to ride anything when. Uh, whoa, scary! Ow! <laughs> a lot of bumps in there. Ah, I can see what they mean now. That needs to be fixed over here. You can see that metal plate thing he has come off. Um, yeah, that is not very good. That is not good at all. The screws right here is broken. I'm gonna to try to do a tail whip up the little year again. I've done it before, but I'm gonna try it again. Let's see if we can do it. I haven't been scootering today, so. That was hard. 
Hard to get an old man. <laughs> I lost my breath now. <sighs> it's hard. I better catch you guys back home because I'm taking Sally out for one. One. Wow, I can't speak English. I'm taking Sally out for a run, so I'll see you guys back home. Look out there, the moon up behind the trees. You guys see it? Well, I'm stopping the top of the hill and I'll zoom in on it. Maybe we can get a nicer picture than I did last night. All right, let's try and focus on it. There's the moon. It's been a lovely day in the skate park and a lot of people out there really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff uh, sold and um, quite a few people came scootering, which is all about. So I'm really pleased that I volunteered to go and help them out with uh, keeping the day open for that. But uh, yeah, the problem is uh, we play music all the time and I don't really want to switch off the music and um, and just walk around and record and also have to be behind the bar because I always, whenever I move out, I try to come out for scootering for a second. Someone else comes, oh, can I buy a soda? I'm like, oh, of course, yes, I have to jump back in, so yeah. Another little thing also is that, uh, you know, Alan is having um, his uh, GTA 5 skateboard up for sale. Yeah, you can see it in there, and the bid is in 42. And don't start to get worried because I am actually the one bidding right now. And um, this is not a price pushing scheme I'm doing guys to try and help the price of a Brian. It's because my cousin wanted to get the deck but he hasn't got a PayPal and he hasn't got um, an eBay account. But he really liked the deck and Brian, sorry, Alan already put it up for sale on eBay before my cousin told me that he was interested. Um, so, um, and when you put something for sale and there's already bits on it, you can't just um, you can't just uh, take it off eBay, uh, as far as I know. Um, it, it wouldn't be fair to the other people who already bid. So I said to my cousin that I'll go in and bid for him, um, and he would pay me the money um, if I win it. So, but I I don't think we will win it because he's not willing to go much higher because he's only a student and um, he don't earn that much money and uh, he doesn't skate either so it'll just be a wall piece like what I got here for him so I don't know if he's willing to pay more but he have to tell me but the maximum bid is met right now this is what he max wants to pay um, or at least that's what he says let's see when we get a bit closer if he feels up to do more but I don't think he will all right guys I don't know if you can see anything but there's the moon is out it's up there and it's so bright I can see Easily I can see the footpath and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see anything. On the camera screen I can't see much. It's just pitch black. But it's amazing. You can see the shade from myself, the penny board. I can easily see where I am. I got my flashlight with me, but it's off. Yeah, I got some music in my ears. And here I am. Whoa, I can't see anything now. Whoa, I'm blinding myself. <laughs> but yeah, definitely taking Madam out. She's got her lights on. You can see that. Oh, charming. Going for poop. <laughs> Alright guys, I wish I could show you how beautiful this really is, um, but uh, I forgot, we are at the destination where we want to be now, but I forgot to start the app again. Someone asked me what it's called, it's actually called Walk Meter, uh, W-A-L-K-M-E-T-E-R. Um, I can go, is that a front page? No, that is the front page. So I'm ready to start now, I'm on skate again, as you can see up there, you can choose a lot more. If you go in there, you can choose like uh, cycle downhill run and blah 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 blah. I'm just gonna stay with skate, and I'm gonna say start, and then we're gonna head back. So I need to time this by two because this is distance. So pop this in my pocket, and uh, I'll catch you guys back home. This is beautiful. I'm gonna try to even get a picture of this first though. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this beast out of the mold. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Pull this out. I'm gonna put another one in straight away. Lift off. Got a little piece of plastic there to protect it. Can you guys see it? Just to protect the mold so I don't get glue on it. And the same on the other side. There we go. It's awesome. It needs to be drilled, but I'm gonna leave it here to dry. That took 24 hours, guys. So you can see I don't leave my decks for only 10 minutes and then take them out again or only for 2 hours or something like that. I'm going to leave them in for quite some time because I want to make sure they are 
nicely pressed. I'm going to try and make a, a four ply deck, uh, only to see how um, it'll turn out. Um, because the five plies are really, really thick with the veneer I use, um, because they are like very, very thick veneers. Ha! Oh yeah, when I came back to the car, I forgot to show you guys, but um, again, eight kilometers. So uh, we went much quicker today. Alrighty, ready, another deck in the squeeze. Ah, rah, rah. And um, that's only a four ply deck. And I'm going to try and see how <clears throat> that's going to turn out. The thing is, it's going to be um, uh, cross grained, of course. It's going to be two which go in um, uh, vertical and the other one going uh, sideways. So I still have the cross grains, but I'm going to see how four plies work out. I know that three plies can be very, very strong, and that can prove by. Um, uh, queen decks, they are very strong and they are on, uh, actually my other queen deck is out here, let me just show you guys, I know exactly where it is, just don't want to step on this little beauty here sleeping down here, let me just get it, here it is, there you go, look, that's my queen deck, <clears throat> that's the first one I had uh, when I went to Fast Fingers, equally as beautiful and that is a four ply deck, and uh, slightly thicker, which of course, when it's four ply, has this beautiful uh, thing on it. It's still a crown, hasn't got the number though, but it's still a wonderful deck. Uh, I haven't set it up yet because these are decks I'd love to keep as a memorabilia because I know this I had a fast fingers. And also, don't forget, I hit 14,000 subscribers. You 14,000 of awesome people out there like you, thank you so much. And you know what that means? It means you're gonna have another giveaway, so um, I'm gonna be making uh, a deck. Oh, uh, well, I can do a deck or a kendama. I think I can do a kendama. Yeah, I think I can do it. I, I won't promise it yet, but I think I can do a kendama. I will have to uh, investigate a little bit in it, so that will be sweet if I can. All right, so um, I don't know when the giveaway is going to be up. Maybe I'll make it Friday when Ellen's down here. All right, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Take care, love you all. Stay awesome and epic. And uh, as always, well, not always, but recently, be the best that you can be, because no one can ask for more than that. Peace. <laughs> and they're back. <laughs> they love playing. They can do this for hours, guys. They have so much fun. <laughs> it looks violent, but it's not. They're just the best friends. <laughs>